Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. So I have a question for you. What do you get when you mix hard drives, lobster, and beer? 45 drives. Welcome to Geek Beat. This episode of Geek Beat TV is brought to you by Audible. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! It is exciting. You know what, guys? We actually have Doug here with us. He is part of Proto Case, right? Correct. And correct. Proto Case makes is the is like the parent company of the 45 Drives company or brand. How do you define 45 Drives over there? Uh, we call it a division. Okay, it's oh, the right. division. Yeah. 45 it's integrated into Proto Case. So. Okay, cool. Yeah. But you came all the way down to Texas from Canada. Wow, how awesome is that? Yeah. We, uh, you, you brought a little cold weather with you. Yeah, what was uh, up with that? I don't know what's up with that. Well, you know what? I was incredibly scared <laughs> of the weather you guys come down here because I live by the seacoast, right? And right. it's like uh, cool and pleasant. And, <laughs> Which we uh, we are not in in, <laughs> in the summer. Definitely, it was not, like no. 103 yeah. degrees here yep. the other yeah. day, and I think you guys you guys don't use Fahrenheit. That was like I don't know like. 400 degrees Celsius, Celsius or something, something. like that. Uh, it was yeah. pretty hot. I'm really glad I couldn't understand how hot it was, actually. <laughs> would have gotten a plane and gone back. So. Exactly. Well, thanks you for guys, making the trick that trek down here. Yeah, you guys um, have seen him before um, when they announced that they were sending us a 45 drives unit right. for our uh, server room in the new Geek House. So um, That was an awesome housewarming gift. Thank you, was. by the way. Well, you know what? I uh, figured if you guys have video, I mean, video causes just you know, reams of data and you got to put it somewhere, right? We do. Yes, exactly. We, do. we have a lot so of data. We're looking forward to putting it on our big machine. In fact, I thought we could take everybody and show them yeah. because they've only seen like the outside, but we have since opened it up, we've racked it up, we've got drives, drives in, in it, it, and I've got questions for you. And I Excellent. don't go into the server room because it's freezing it in, is there. Cold in there. So I'm gonna stay out here. You guys go enjoy, have some fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the temperature in there. I'm gonna be good. Okay, okay. <laughs> Him and the just penguins. Like home. Just like home. <laughs> okay, so we're actually in the data center. It's not a huge data center, but it'll do. We've got a pretty good data center here. Looks like a data center to me. Yeah. No. So we've got these cool racks that uh, Chatsworth gave us, which are awesome. They're super, super deep, which is very convenient considering that you gave us a Storinator, and this thing is a monster. It, it, it is indeed. <laughs> and, and you're saying that reasonably well. It's the Storinator. The Storinator. The, the Arnold accent. Yeah, there. we have to. Yeah. I wonder if we can get Arnold to be like the spokesperson yeah, or something. That's a great idea. Yeah. I'm ask him. Maybe he'll be into it. So Ken has been playing with this thing and racking stuff up. Ken, I am uh, the the other day when I took a look at what you were doing, I was interested because I know you've been slapping all kinds of drives in here and testing stuff, but you have these drives in slots like not adjacent to one another, which kind of surprised me. So what have you been doing with all this? Well, when we were configuring the drives, I was doing a lot of different tests to see what configuration of drives had the most performance of it. So it turns out that this system is so fast that we're limited by the speed of the drives themselves. So it doesn't really matter what slot you put the drives in. So the only reason I actually separate everything out right now is to give us a little bit of extra uh, redundancy. So in case one of the channels on the card breaks, it doesn't take down whole arrays. So I basically split up all the drives on individual channels of the arrays right now of the so cards. So you tried putting like all the drives, let's say in slots right beside one another, and it made absolutely no performance difference. Exactly, the performance was just the same, you, whether they were right next to each other or spread across the different cars and the different channels. So tell us uh, uh, what kind of performance are we actually getting? Uh, I was running, this system, particular system runs in uh, ZFS, under a FreeBSD system, and we're getting about... That, that's a file system format, It's a file right? system format, yes, on an operating system. And we're getting about one gigabyte of transfer speeds internally on the array, as in I can transfer from one part of the array to the other part of the array at about a speed of one gigabyte per second. Wait, let me just be clear about that. Not one gigabit. No. no. One gigabyte that is correct. per second. Correct. Which, like, if you were to have, let's say, an MP3 movie or something, it's probably about a gigabyte. You would literally transfer it in about a second. In or two. one second, it would take longer for it to spin up than it would be to actually transfer. To it. transfer the data, How, Doug, is that 
I mean, is that the kind of performance you're seeing on these things? Look, that's exactly it. Uh, these things, which are you know backplay storage pod inspired, the first pods were all about archival storage and they're backplane based. And the one complaint we got from people who wanted to use these things was that they weren't quite fast enough for doing a lot of things like video, like you guys do, right? Yeah. And then uh, I, when we rebuilt Pod Four between Backblaze and us, one of the things we did is we said we want to make something that's way faster. So we've achieved that. Our, our one gigabyte per second was kind of a marker we wanted to hit. That'll saturate a 10 gigabit network card. Yeah. And it's kind of a plateau that we want to hit. And anything more than that, very few people are going to be able to use it. So anyway, it's a really high performance unit. No. But if I'm not mistaken, in theory, this could probably do even more than that if you were to like load it up with SSDs or something. I mean, right now, the reason we're running into bottleneck is because we're running what? 7200 RPM, just standard drives, right? Exactly, it's just normal drives. So they have their own physical limits too. If we switched everything over to like a whole bunch of SSDs, we can probably see even better performance. Yeah. Yeah, you, you could. You, you'll find bottlenecks as you improve one thing. You're going to bottleneck somewhere else. Um, the you know you get to a point. The PCIe bus is the next bottleneck that you hit. Uh, then you get an operating system and motherboard and caching RAM and file systems. So there's a whole bunch of bottlenecks in a system like this. But anyway, suffice to say that one gigabyte per second is an enormous data flow. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, a few things before we uh, let this uh, sucker get back into action. Um, can we talk about what the actual chassis looks like? What kind of things do we have in here and what are they doing? Because I see like fans in the front and I don't know, a power supply in the back and there's some SSDs in there. So walk me through, somebody walk me through kind of what the configuration's like here. Sure thing. The heart of this thing is the bank of storage drives. So. Okay, that's all of these. That, that, that's and we've here got here, a yep. couple of them are covered up here, right? Like those are, these are, those are just like this, but they have two covers on them. That's right, and those covers they refer to them as anti-vibration covers, and they're there just to secure the drives, keep them from rattling around, and uh, drives are sensitive to vibration, obviously. So that's storage bank. So that's one thing. Okay, here's number two, another feature of that that's storage bank. Um, hard drives use power. And if you have a normal desktop and you got one or two drives in it, when they're working, they use about 10 watts each. If you put 45 hard drives and work them, you uh -huh. got 450 watts. So you have something that's the better part of an electric kettle or you know space heater, and uh, you have to remove that heat from that bank. So the, this whole uh, bank has been designed to have two sets of fans. One set of fan, fans right here, air flows in that way, and it moves in the slots between the drives and it moves all the heat. There's another set of fans right here, which exhausted into this part. It may seem a little counterintuitive pushing it into your motherboard chamber, but it moves so much air that there's only about a six degree Celsius temperature rise. So it's absolutely minimal temperature rise through the thing. So you're sucking in air and then you're pushing it back through there and then it exhausts out through the back of the and it goes back and out of the cabinet, right? Yep, that's right. So yep. in, in a room like this, which really the only place that people are going to have a machine like this is in a rack in a data center kind of space. Uh, hopefully their facility is air conditioned properly. We have AC flowing literally from the ceiling right above us. It comes straight down and then it gets sucked in from behind the rack. So we're, we're venting air through the facility this way and that's just helping push it right on through the racks to cool it. Yep. Okay, yeah, and, what and else you, we got? And, and you know, look, just in, in data center, in temperatures, there's about a six degrees Celsius rise through this. Hard drives start, as long as you're below 40 degrees Celsius, you're absolutely fine. So you could be at 33, which is about 95 or 100 degrees a ballpark Fahrenheit yeah. inside your data center before you start to stress your hard drives over that. So as long as your system is keeping you below that. And ours is set at 68 degrees over there right now, it's so we should be good. Comfortably like yeah. like Canada, like Nova Scotia. Just I need a jacket. Comfortable. Oh, I get out of here. Okay, so we've also got um, the motherboard here has several different controller boards on it, and we've got a whole bunch of banks of RAM. I think we added some extra RAM in here, and Ken, we're running what OS? Uh, we're running FreeNAS, which is a, which is a, on top of a FreeBSD installation. And you can tell them why we're doing that. 
Uh, we're doing it because it makes it for easy management on the appliance side. It turns it more into an appliance I as told it is him, a server. I told him that even I had to be able to manage the server on occasion, so. Yeah, and, and I'll put in a plug for FreeNAS too. Love FreeNAS, and if you look down in there too, another thing you can see, there's a little USB key sitting in the USB port, just right underneath those SATA cables, yep. and the, o the OS runs off of that. That's the so OS. That's the OS on What there. are we doing with these SSDs in here? Those SSDs, normally if you run this as a server, that pair would be used as a, uh, as a rated boot drive array. Um, however, one of the things you can do in FreeNAS is you can attach an SSD to a RAID array, and one of them for a logging drive, okay? And logging is what repairs your file system to a problem. Okay. So the nice thing about ZFS is it's self-healing. Self and uh, the other one can be used as a cache, and so it can improve performance. Gotcha. So if you're running it in FreeNAS mode, that's the, uh, the thing, to, thing to do with it. All right, well, I know we can only see that we have four drives in here at the moment, but under those covers, we have more drives, and we're gonna start filling this thing more and more. And I think we're moving our primary data storage onto this machine right here with the goal of being able to edit off of it later. So you guys stay tuned because we'll brief you on how those changes are coming as we make those changes to our, to our editing process. But as exciting as the Storinator is, you guys sent us another unit that's really, it's not even in beta, it's so new, it's in alpha. And I know that Callie wants in on showing that one off. So let's, let's so go we're gonna get to pre-announce pre our new we're, product We're gonna pre-announce it. Oh, I love right, that. Right here, oh. let's, let's, Dave, turn around and march that way. We're going out. I have a question. On your drive or train ride to work, what do you do? Do you listen to the radio and suffer through ads? Don't do that. You could turn on an Audible book and listen to something way more fun. Whatever kind of entertainment you enjoy, fiction, nonfiction, sci-fi, self-help books, whatever, Audible has it. Over 100,000 titles. If you get through that collection, let me know because you'll get a Geek Bee t-shirt because that's a lot of books. But first, start with one, a free one, by signing up at audiblepodcast.com slash geekbeat. All right, so when this big box showed up, I was like, is what it time is that? yet? Is it time, guys? It's it is. It is new time. New product launch time, right? <laughs> yeah, you know this is going to be a different take on things. Oh, this, okay. It, productivity, human performance, instead mm -hmm. of like pure technology. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I dig that. Pe I mean, people are the most important part of the equation, right? Of course. That's true. People That's are true. important. Otherwise, if they're unhappy, they don't do a very good job, but right? But what's that got to do with data centers? That's my only question. IT right? people are expensive. You got to look after them. Uh huh. And a tough day in the data center. Mm, yeah. You know. And what happens? You get thirsty, right? That's true. You do. Yeah, you get you thirsty. Do. You get hot. You, yeah. you're, you're working hard. You're pounding mounds of data around, like like just gigabytes, gigabytes of data after That's a hard true. day. Right. That's true. It's right. not yeah. easy. You right? so, really move around. So what you're saying is, in order to make them happy, you delivered a red chassis. That that's well, the color's kind of, wow. part of it. This is cold. Well, you know, things got to be cool in a data center, right? That is yeah. true. Yeah, yeah, your data right. to get you're warm. Right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So, Introducing the. Beerinator. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? I love it. So we, what have we got here? We've got a convenient cooler in a 4U rack mount chassis. We thought 4U was an appropriate package for this. Yeah. You know, yeah. use up a reasonable yeah. amount of racks. That's right. true. It's got a lot of capacity. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It holds quite a bit. We've got it loaded up with, I mean, we've got everything in we've here. We've got Shinerbach, because we are in Texas. That's you got to right. go with a Texas beer. Brewed with an attitude. Mike's hard lemonade. That's right. And we have and Coke. Coke. Coke for those who are... <laughs> Who are not in the alcoholic beverage. Uh, this is awesome. So we've the got, uh, we, it looks like we've got a 100%. Uh, uh, it, it's an independent cooling system. So if your power fails, mm, right. you don't have to worry right. about it. You can of still course. go get some refreshment or intoxication, like whatever it. you need. Right. Well, I because like that's, it. I like at it. That, that point, that's when you need it because that's you're stressed absolutely. about everything that's else going absolutely. on. Absolutely. So yeah. we've got a nice, beautifully stainless steel uh, created cooler with some foam insulation. And uh, it seems to be effective at its job. Yeah. But uh, this is this, just an alpha model, right? This is, like, we're going to have to test this. Okay. Well, like, we're, like we're about to test okay. it. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what, what's coming up? Uh, you know, what have you learned about this model? Yeah. And what are you going to fix for the next model? Yeah. Well, you know, we like a whole lot about this. Like, the proof of concept is, yeah. like, it, it works. I think so. Oh, yeah. But 
some things that foam insulation uh -huh. it's not the maximum r value you can get okay okay so we're thinking we have access to this aerogel super insulation oh, oh yeah I've heard so of if that. we made super insulation we could make the walls thinner which would give you more capacity yeah and you know everything you gain there you're getting a cube effect oh. in your capacity oh yeah that's true that, that's important capacity so increased capacity within the confines of the for yeah. you space and so the other thing uh the independent cooling needs drainage that's true we, right. we will have a little right. bit of it. some people don't really like ice near their servers i don't know why uh -oh. i don't know why either so we're thinking of if we had a, a, a ups in case the power got interrupted we could oh, probably yeah. use thermoelectric coolers so oh. maybe we'll put super insulated thermoelectric cooling nice okay. Okay. I, I like it well, air you know. gel sumer <laughs> thermoelectric cooling right. here I at like geek it. beat though we test the products thoroughly yeah. so it is time to do that yeah, I think it is time. Uh, are you, like you up for a little uh, Texas, beer? Little Texas beer here? And uh, authentic we'll, cultural experience. That's exactly, right. Exactly. Here's a quick Love it. Here. Well, what do you want, uh, uh, Dave, behind the camera? Mike's hard. All right. Mike's hard for Dave. John? Beer for you. What do you want? Mike's hard? Yeah, I'll take a oh, Mike's hard. How about you? It's nice cold, eh? Yeah, it is. It is. Awesome. It's, nice it's ice cold. How about that? I guess I'll have a, a, a Coke. A Coke? You're not going to go with this? Do you want a quick key to put, oh, you got she it. She probably oh. lives at a lower stress level than other people. <laughs> she anyway, does. So. Well, here is to the Beerinator and its uh, launch, inaugural launch. Uh, Wonderful product. Great job innovating in the uh, data department. That's well, right. Well, well, thanks. And a shout out to our engineering team back there who worked yes. long and hard on this, too. Right? Cheers, so, boys. Cheers, so cheers. You guys, uh, you know, dial up 45 drives, get your order in for the beer. Yep. It may take a little while to get it shipped to you, but I'm sure version one is available immediately yeah. if you want the... Version two may take a little longer. We've got all so. these great drinks. I, I wish we had some food to go along with it. I mean, you keep talking about those lobsters, the, how how amazing they that are in Nova nice, Scotia. Man. Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be something if some that of those would be. happen? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Ta-da. Oh, wow. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> now you have a bunch of pissed off crustaceans. Oh my gosh. Look at uh, this one. He's foaming at the mouth. He's, these guys are angry, foaming. man. They're angry. We have very livid lobsters. He is lobsters. truly lives livid. <laughs> they got oh, attitude. Oh, lobsters yeah. with attitude. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I well, think we've I think, angered him. We, should we put him out of their misery? Well, you know what they're you know what they're saying right now. They're saying, yeah, you look pretty tough now. I got bands on, right? Oh because yeah. I teach you a lesson. <laughs> yeah. You just take the bands off, man. Hands off. Yeah. <laughs> Oh gosh! All right. Well, why did gonna, I get stuck with the uh, angry? We're gonna eat them. We're gonna eat them. What do we do now? Stick them in the pot, right? Uh, I think we better cook them first. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, right. Let's do it. Let's do yeah. it. So uh, here, I'm gonna grab a, a couple. Yep. Oh, he is not All happy. Right. No, All he's right. not. One of them freehand. Yep. Okay, dudes. First of all, let me say I feel really, really bad about this. I, I am don't. sorry, guys, but, but you're going to taste delicious. Yeah, we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> it, it, it's your role. It's a top predator. We're the top of the food chain. We have That's to do right. this. Yeah, right. Right. A lion would do it to us. Oh! Woo, baby! All of them? All of them. <laughs> so now we're steaming them. It's not a water, it's not a, a pot full of yeah. water. Let's get some more in there. Why nope. steaming? All uh, right, more tender, easier not to overcook them. Okay. Yeah, nothing worse than an overcooked oh. lobster. You don't now want we to need to put something over the lid. Them. Yeah, there that's all right. We only have one more. One more? One more. Yeah, we'll make room. Cram them in upside down. How long do they cook, Doug? Well, you know what? They cook for about oh. 15 <laughs> minutes. 15 minutes? <laughs> yeah. See that? He's oh, saying, he, I'm oh, not really oh, into oh, this. Oh. He's saying, ah, oh, buddy, yeah, get in there with your buddies. Okay. Get in there. Okay. That's good. Okay, let's see how we're doing here, little guys. Wow. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, Look how red they are. Wow. Hey, buddy. Amazing. Hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're dead, John. Okay. <laughs> yeah, not talking anymore. All right. What now? Hey. hey. Is that like a so, proper technique? Or you gotta... Well, you know what? If you're going to eat them right away and oh. not let them cool off, you really oh. got to just so you don't burn your hands on them. Okay. okay. Give them a couple some of seconds water. in there and some cold water. It stops the cooking. Yeah. And stops my hands from cooking too. <laughs> yeah. Hey, right. so. Claws off. Those okay. are good eating. Oh, uh, they're just this. awesome. The legs yeah. are wonderful. Really? Yeah, there's Is all there kinds anything of in them? little nooks and Look. crannies. I'm just going to dig in. And look, here's how you eat. Oh, look. Here's how you eat a leg. You put your teeth right there and you kind of chew oh. those stuff up and over. Oh, like really? An edamame. Like edamame. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I had no mm. idea. Does that Wait, work like that way? with like, like put crabs so and stuff? You too? put your teeth over it? Just like Edamon. Uh -huh. Either way. Uh, and it's mostly in that big part. This in is the big part. awesome, good big part. So just like tear this little thing oh. off like that? Tear them off Yummy. like that. And there's a and great big wad of meat there and you just squeeze them up and out. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God. That is amazing. I had no idea. No. That, oh. I had no idea. Thank you. A new type I've been meat. missing that meat all my life. Yeah. Okay. So the things you learn on Geek Beat. <laughs> Number two. The body, that's where most of the meat is in the oh, body. Oh yeah. Between the claws and the, and so the body. So you're just grabbing. So you take them and you just rip them like wow, that. Wow, look at that. And all that stuff in there, we call it tamale in uh, right. Nova Scotia. <laughs> and some people like it and eat it. And okay. other well, people we don't. Just don't. like with crabs. So this is all waste people, now, right? Yeah. That you know, is now, waste? Now, apologies to my mother if she sees any of this, because my mom will pull that apart. A lot of people will pull it apart and there's, there's wonderful little morsels, oh. but it's a lot of work okay. yeah. or not too, so much Too meat. much work okay. for, for too little so, payoff. So. We have a now, trash now, bag over ideally here. you'll save that and make a fish stock out of it. There oh, you, you could go. certainly do that. Yeah. yeah. Good for chowder. Chowder? Yeah. Chowder. All right. All right so what are so you, what doing, are you okay. doing? So you squeeze in. Squeeze like in. Like that. Oh, you hear the crack? It. You just cracked it. Wow. You crack it. Okay. And then you come watch the splash. Watch the splash. Crack it open like that. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. You didn't even have to cut it. You just nope. cracked it and pulled it. We had these knives out and everything. I know. Oh, they will be using the knives. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah. so, and then is this, it hot? this guy just, yeah, he's pretty hot. But there we go. See wow. that? That is that amazing. amazing. Now, what? these little fellas here. The little fins? These guys are, again, same thing. Like, I mean, yeah, 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 there's wonderful there's little bit of meat in, in each one of those. No. There's meat? Breasts. Yeah, just a little tiny bit. But it's tender and just beautiful. It'll come up when you... You just squeeze right. it with your same teeth. Same thing, yeah. Same thing. Oh, I right. had no idea. Look at that. Yep. And they're, they're some of the nicer parts. Whoops, drop these. Fortunately, they got their own packaging on them, right? Look at that, worry Dave. About too much. Oh, oh, that's good meat. But, oh, it's just uh, that's awesome. Yeah, these little morsels are there. Better have another one. Wow, I had no. I've been throwing that stuff away forever. Oh, it's tragic. That's tragic. Mm. <laughs> okay. Wow, it tastes good. Kind of like John, like he was saying about the cod cheek and tongue. See? Cod, I'm not eating cheeks. that. I'm not eating any cod's <laughs> cheeks, cheeks and tongues. All right, Brian, now. So how, how do we at home get through to these? Okay. Yeah, we have to have okay. like some kind of cracker Two thing. Two parts. These are the knuckles, and there's lots of meat in the knuckles. And okay. again, like really, really good meat. So anyway, you just kind of break those guys off. Okay. Right. And we'll go through those in a minute. Can't get that with your teeth. Okay. <laughs> no. And... Okay. Now, all kinds of people, uh, you know, if you're eating very fine circumstances, you'll use tooling to uh -huh. go through this stuff. But, like, but we're not that kind of people. If you're out in the woods with your buddies or something like that, you know, and they're on a beach somewhere cooking right. lobster. Like if yeah. you're out in the woods and you just caught some fresh lobster in the woods. Yep. Yep. This is how we do it. <laughs> you got her. Exactly. That's right. So you pull these guys off. Okay. And then I'm going to break the knuckles. Oh, you got to wash those spines. You yeah. can cut yourself good if you're not careful. Now, with these guys, really all you have to do when you take a skewer, see that is totally uh -huh. full of meat. All right, we've got a skewer and here. Like, let you skewer that. Like the, That's all beautiful meat. Just and get you gotta it, yank just, it out. Just kind of. Oh, okay. And, and again, you can take a knife if you want and, and cut it open more, but it will just come out with a the skewer. There we go. So. What about all that white stuff? Oh, it's beautiful. It's uh, it looks disgusting. Mm. Oh, you, get oh. over it. Get okay, over it. Get yeah, over it. Get over it. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Hey, okay, I'll break this here little fella. See? Oh, That's wow. Worth it. That is amazing. That is. And then this guy's got a whole bunch. See, knuckles, do not waste your knuckles. They're awesome. Okay. These guys, there's a nice chunk of meat that you can skewer out of the just wow. dig it out. side of the okay. claw. And how about the big one? And that, that's the crusher, and that's the pincher. Okay. Oh, okay. Good. They hold with that, and they crush with that. Oh. Okay, so the crusher. Oh. Yeah. Good thing so they the had bands one. on when we right. handled with them. Right. <laughs> they would have probably <laughs> chopped our fingers yeah. off. And they were pretty livid. And do we have to take a knife to that? So this guy. So, here's the secret in this guy. Now, some people can do this wonderfully and other people are not so skilled at it, but <laughs> sometimes it depends on how hard the shell is. It's like hitting an avocado. Just like. Nice. See that? Crack. Wow. And away you go. And really it's just one hit and see the meat oh, in that? It just that is just awesomely out. full of meat. Wow. Yeah. Oh, well. And this is a lot of people are, like my wife, she's really claws claws is what she eats ah. she's not into bodies just claws oh, wow and this stuff is just 
Awesome, it'll be wonderful. There awesome. you go. There you go, John. That's good. Oh, brother. Well, I'm thank you, food. Doug. Yeah, this is awesome. Awesome. We're going to do our crab, our lobster feast here. Uh, oh. They were livid, but now they're dead. So <laughs> Now they're delicious. You guys, thanks for joining us. Yep. And if you need uh, any uh, beerinators, you know where to get them. 45drives.com. <laughs> or if you need a big ass piece of storage for your network, get it's it the there too. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Thumbs up for the lobsters. They gave yeah. the live yes. for this. Two if you got them. Bye.